late. I'm sorry, it was so hard to wake up this morning. We have some champagne and dip some to wake you up. Sounds great. So we're here for dim sum. What does it mean exactly in Chinese? The way to a man's heart is through the stomach. A dim sum means uh, a touch of the heart. Because I never heard this word before I came to New York. And it's, even though I spent uh, one year in China, the people never say dim sum. My friend told me briefly about history of this tradition, but I still don't know much about it. Well, dim sum is a Cantonese word. Um, they didn't invent dim sum, but they did popularize dim sum. So it's uh, all these little delicacies. Some are steamed, some are fried, um, some are baked. So put all these different varieties together. Um, so the fun part of it is you know, you have so many different things to choose from, and they are light in quality, uh, so you can have a lot of them. So what we're having right now, I can see spring rolls. So here at Cafe China, it's uh, the small bites from everywhere. It's Xiaoqu, essentially. So I know this word, Xiaoqu. Yeah, from the south, from Canton, we have the traditional ones, like the steamed sum dumpling. And we have, uh, you know, the pork sandwich from the northwest. We also have uh, goat here. That's also actually from the north. So I'm ready for question. What is that you're doing? It's a, a gesture to say thank you. You ever experience that in Beijing? You know, I've, I've always seen these people doing this and uh, I don't know why they do this. What's the story? They said uh, this uh, emperor from Qing Dynasty, Qian Long, one day he was at a tea house with his servant. He was very happy that day, so all of a sudden he just wanted to try to pour tea. And then he filled his servant's cup with tea. To the servant, it's such a huge unexpected honor. His uh, in immediate reaction is to, to kneel to the emperor because that is the custom back then. Um, but since he knows that the emperor prefer not to disclose his identity, so he, he came up with the idea to just uh, bend his finger on the table. That is similar to the kneel gesture. So tapping the table is becoming a gesture to show thank you um, in the dim sum culture. It's really nice that people still keep these traditions. Yeah, they have story for everything. I even heard that the dim sum was the beginning of tradition of brunch. So I think see a lot of similarities in this to Asian and Western weekend meals. They both are meant to be not in a hurry and to enjoy your time. It's a good way to start your day. Yeah, I see similarities because dim sum people also start very early, sometimes as early as 7 o'clock and uh, it goes until late afternoon. It's a lot of varieties. Um, people get to sample so many different things. I've experienced that once, the proper Cantonese dim sum style restaurant, the atmosphere is really different. I like dim sum, but I found like in most Cantonese places, dim sum is very, it's a very hectic experience. Um, the push cards, the eating, the waiting, um, the noise for the nice food. Um, you need uh, a nice environment as well. And some nice drinks. So what are we having right now? We're having the pork sandwich, we're having the veggie pot stickers and the shrimp dumplings. We're trying the champagne and the sparkling wine. I think it's fun to add a modern twist to something very traditional. I have never seen somebody having wine with a dim sum. This is something new. Dim sum, they look very light on the surface, but actually. You know, there's shrimp, there's pork, 
it's actually also very heavy. So the sparkling is very light and refreshing in the body. Um, it helps to you to cleanse your tongue. It just, uh, it's a very refreshing experience. So we'll taste some with the dim sum today. So shrimp dumplings and prosecco is really nice match. This one looks like a sandwich. I haven't seen it before in China. It's called a pork sandwich. There is a marinated pork inside of a plain bun with cilantro and some sauce. You should try it. You don't like it. This Prosecco is much sweeter than Champagne even though it's a little fatty meat it gives me, it's like refreshing after every bite and uh, it opens the flavor It goes well with pork, that's true um, It's very light body but it has the acidity to absorb the additional fat from the pork Do you think that the Champagne matches better with some food on the table as well? In general, champagne is a good match with all this food because what we are having is uh, something very delicate. And champagne is uh, compared to wine and other alcoholic drinks. It's, the alcohol volume is lighter, it's more bubbling, and uh, it's, uh, it just feels very refreshing and light body. I think the champagne actually goes well with something greasy because of the acidity. Okay, thank you Amy for sharing this good idea with me. And it was definitely a great beginning of the day. Okay, you're so welcome. Chop up shrimp. Next, chop up bamboo shoots. Put the ingredients in a bowl. Next, add salt, chicken powder, pepper, and sesame oil. Mix up these ingredients and set aside. Put some wheat starch in a bowl and add hot water. Mix and keep working the dough until the consistency is right. Next, cut out a chunk of the dough and cut that down into smaller bits of dough. Add some wheat starch to prevent sticking to surfaces. Flatten the balls of dough using a rolling pin. Next, add the filling and fold the wrapper over it. Pinch the edges to close the dumpling. And finally, steam the dumplings until they're ready.